welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about five, yes, five service-connected medical conditions that are relatively easy to get approval for for VA disability benefits. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories, a resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule the meeting. My contact information is down in the description. So as a veteran, you may be entitled to disability benefits from the VA for service-connected medical conditions. While the process for applying for benefits can be daunting, it is important to know that some conditions are easier to get approval for than others. So here are my five service-connected medical conditions that are relatively easy to get approval for for your VA benefits. So the first one is tinnitus. Tinnitus is the most common condition among veterans, often caused by exposure to loud noises during military service. It is characterized by persistent ringing in the ears that can be debilitating and affects quality of life. While the VA may pay benefits for tinnitus, the highest rate that you could receive for tinnitus alone is 10%. However, if you have other service-connected medical conditions, you may qualify for a higher disability rating as VA doctors combine your tinnitus rating with other ratings. If you have an existing condition that has been proven to be service-connected, tinnitus can help to increase your total disability rating, granting you an additional compensation. Number two is mental health conditions. Mental health conditions such as PTSD, depression, anxiety, and military sexual trauma are common among veterans and are generally regarded as high-value claims. Disabling Mental health conditions are more likely than neurological, skin, auditory, and most muscle skeletal conditions to receive a disability rating of 30% or higher. In fact, more than 90% of disabled veterans rated for mental health conditions are rated at 30% or higher. If you have a service-related medical condition that causes or aggravates a mental health condition, consider filing a claim for the accompanying mental health issues. This could result in a more significant disability rating than your primary issue. Number three, muscle skeletal conditions. Muscle skeletal conditions such as strain, sprain, arthritis, reduced flexion, and reduced functionality and arms, legs, back, and necks are common among veterans. To be considered for a disability benefit for musculoskeletal disorder or injury, you will want to be able to show some persistence and reoccurring symptoms. So that's why I would encourage veterans to ensure that you are constantly seeing your doctors about these issues. Musculoskeletal issues can be aggravated by other conditions such as TBI, medication side effect, PTSD, depression, and injuries in other areas of the body. If you are rated for any of these issues as a primary medical condition, you may be able to put in a VA disability application for most skeletal issues. Depending on the circumstances, this could get you another 10 to 20% added to your disability ratings. Number four, scars. The VA assigned a disability rating for scars, yes, from 10 up to 80%. While the scars has to be quite significant in order to get rated for a VA disability conversation, it is usually a simple matter of getting qualified scars approved. There's usually a little doubt about military service nexus. Injuries that occur on active duty that are significant enough to rate disability compensations are almost documented in the military service record. Additional scar tissues can occasionally result in reduced arm, leg, or neck, or back mobility, resulting in qualifying secondary conditions under the musculoskeletal heading. Number five, presumptive disorder. A presumptive disorder is one that the VA presumes to be service-connected. Even if there is no specific evidence or a chain of causation, that they normally require to form a nexus with military service. For example, if you served in the Vietnam between January 9, 1962 and May 7, 1975, 
and you are diagnosed with AL, B cell um, leukemia, chronic lymphonic leukemia, type 2 diabetes, Hopkin disease, amongst others that you can find on a website, then you can be service connected for those presumptive conditions. Because of the widespread of Agent Orange during the Vietnam War, the VA presumes that these conditions are service connected. You may have an excellent chance of these claims approved and earn a higher percentage rating according to the VA math. In conclusion, while applying for VA disability benefits can be complicated and frustrating, there are some medical conditions that are relatively easy to get. And if you have any of these conditions or believe you may be eligible for VA disability benefits for any reason, it is important to seek assistance from an experienced VA disability attorney or advocate who can help you guide through this process and ensure that you receive the benefits you deserve. So this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince. As always, my people, Vet Talk out.